Do you remember the first time we met? I think it was on a bus. It never came on time. <laughs> it was always breaking down. And it was green and yellow. Oh, it was a hideous color. When we moved uh, from Pennsylvania, I had never heard of Mexico or Mexican. We lived in a government housing project. There were army barracks made into living units around a big dirt field. Some of the Irish kids thought we were Italian. <laughs> and, and so they called us WAPs, right? So we used to ask each other, ¿Qué es esto de WAPs? <laughs> you know, what, what, what is that? And we used to beat the heck out of each other. I used to get an awful lot of nonsense. I had to fight an Anglo kid because he called me a Mexican so-and-so. But we were all Catholic, and that's what really joined an awful lot of us together. We used to see each other on, on Sundays. So the, the, the difference between us in that setting was erased. Mm -hmm. And then we started meeting each other's brothers and sisters. My sister Lucy began to be courted by young Brendan Flannery. I fell madly in love with whom? Carol Ann McLean. I had learned Irish Catholicism was more like Mexican Catholicism in their almost ferociousness of belief. Many Anglos, in fact, learn Spanish, and we also intermarried with each other. I, I've grown to love Mexican food, uh, the Mexican music. I think Mexican music is somewhat like Irish music. I can only stand so much of it, but after a while, <laughs> it all sounds the same. And I feel that I could pick up the phone and call you and ask you for something if I needed it, and, and you'd be there. You got it. Because of our experience in the South Side, there's a foundation that you and I have of understanding. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.